All right, so welcome to SoFlow TV, everybody. And before we get into this video, I want to say that none of these, these are some serious accusations um, that have been brought forth by the brother Bunny Whaler. And none of these words are the words of us at SoFlow TV. Why we're reporting this is because Bunny Whaler is one of the originals of the whalers and he was there from the start the originals and he is still around why he is coming forth now to say the things that he is saying so flow tv has no idea we're clearing ourselves of all accusations that are put forth by bunny whaler but we here at SoFlow tv do believe that his words are worth listening to or his statement is worth a further investigation. Some of the things that he has brought forth um, accusing Rita Marley of are public knowledge. Uh, that means this information can be accessed uh, by website. It's put out there for the world to see. I won't tell you what or exactly where but if you do your research, you will find it and it's not very hard to find. There's been accusations of, uh, there's been ac accusations of diamond smuggling. There's been, there's been accusations of a $30 million lawsuit, um, or $30 million worth of fraud uh, and stealing, which, uh, Rita Marley was found guilty of along with some other people in, uh, a court of a law in New York city. Um, and those kinds of things. Anyways, I am just bringing forth what has been already brought forth. So in other words, I'm repeating, but I'm repeating it for my SoFlow TV audience. So we can have a breakdown discussion of what we believe. The topic of this video you are about to watch is, um, who killed Bob Marley, according to Bunny Whaler. All right. Take it away and enjoy the video. Leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace. We're out of here. All right. Greetings, SoFlow TV, and welcome once again. Yes. Today we'll come to talk about some serious things. Okay. Some serious accusations have been made, and they've been made by the great Bunny Whaler. If you don't know who Bunny Whaler is, then you don't know what reggae music is. Bunny Whaler, one of the original trees our eye trees are the original trinity of the whalers talking about the whalers as in bob marley and the whalers when it was bunny peter and bob right we know peter tush we know bob marley the great legends that have passed on and we know bunny whaler we know that peter tush was killed because he got he died from gunshot um we know bob marley they claim to have died from cancer, but speculations are out there. All right. Bunny Whaler, for some reason, in 2015 now, has decided to come forward. I guess Bunny decided that he has lived long enough, and even if there's a death threat for this, he's willing to pay the price. Anyways, this is what I'm going to talk about today. In a nutshell, right? And I'm reading off this because it's here to guide me, so I don't get off topic. I'm going to get straight to the meat of the matter. Bunny Whaler says Rita Marley alongside Chris Blackwell conspired to and did murder Bob Marley. Bunny said Rita was given radioactive ash to give to Bob Marley by Chris Blackwell who got it from the CIA. In other words, she put it in a Bob food because she was the one that was closest to him and able to do so. And henceforth Bob Marley's death. Even said Peter Tush had a sexual relationship with Rita before Bob did. And then she even tried to do the same with Bunny. Alright, so that the picture I'm a painter of Rita Marley. The picture he's painting of Rita Marley is like she was a Jezebel. Matter of fact, the, the, one of the articles called her um, the Millennium Jezebel or something like that. Anyway. This picture is painting a real Jezebel-like, not the Rita that we get to know as the mother of 
uh, the, the legendary Bob Marley. We know through media. Also, Bunny says she formed a plot to and did murder Peter Tosh after she was found guilty for stealing over 30 million US dollars of tough gun money by falsely claiming to have heir to it. Rita was such a whore that one time Bob found out, got so emotional, cut off his newly formed locks and threw them into the threw them into the um, sea along with the ring and the marriage papers threw them all into the ocean my thing is my question is this before I go any further is is Bunny Whaler telling truth or is he getting up in age and showing signs of Alzheimer's and dementia like tendencies because I know a lot of people are going to try to discredit what the man is saying but none of us was there during those times Bunny says that Rita, and I'm not trying to slander her name, and um, I beg the forgiveness of our children, because I'm not trying to whore out your mother, but I'm talking from, and we all have skeletons in the closet, right? So I'm talking from a human perspective. Now, Bunny said that Rita was such a whore, Rita slept with pretty much everybody, and she had a sexual relationship with Peter Tosh, even while she had another man's um, child in her belly, which was Sadella. And Sadella was not even Bob Marley's daughter. Sadella is somebody else's child. Now, to paint, what kind of picture is that he's painting of her? Anyways, Bunny has written this letter, and I'm going to read it to you. So when you see me looking down, don't really follow my eyes. Just follow what I'm saying. All right? The following is written by the original whaler, Bunny Whaler. And this one was posted on 18 karat reggae gold. And there are other sites that have the same letter. Anyways, I'm going to run through excerpts from the letter. Who the hell is Rita? The letter starts out. Anderson or Jarrett for Rita. Rita could never be a Marley because Bob Marley's mother, Mistress Malcolm Booker, had already filed for Robert to be a citizen of the U.S. prior Robert marrying Rita in 1964, respectively. Rita, knowing this, tricked Robert into marrying her two days before he left. His mother, Mrs. Malcolm Booker, was highly upset for her son, Robert. Hear this part. Rita and her brother Wesley Anderson were both born in Cuba to mother Miss Cynthia Beda Jarrett. I never know that Rita was born in Cuba, but anyway, Rita's father Mr. Leroy Anderson was a tenor sax player of Jamaica, then also living in Cuba, finally died in Jamaica on January 18, 1997 under the cruel administration of Rita, his own daughter. Rita's mother, Cynthia Beta Jarrett, passed away in Canada June 17, 2013, abandoned and not acknowledged by Rita as how she chose to abandon her own children, creating that dark, abusive, Jezebelic character the world has come to know. On May 11, 1981, Bob Marley died from radioactive ash given to him by Rita. This drug was given to Rita by Lloyd Christopher Blackwell to commit murder. This in the, facilitate, this in the facilitating environment of 1976 to 1980 when the CIA placed an unusually large station in Jamaica, destabilizing the government of Michael Manley and his supporters through the music that would have had the whalers Bob Marley as a target. It was again Rita on September 11, 1987, who again joined with Dennis Lepo Loban to kill Peter Tush, Free Eye, and Peter's Bush doctor, along with injuring Carlton Santa Davis, Peter's drummer, Marlene Brown and Free Eye's wife, respectively. 
This occurred as the pressure grew on her around the New York case where she took from Don Taylor 30 million US dollars of Robert Marley's money and was tried and found guilty of fraud along with David Steinberg, Marvin Zolt and deceased Louis Biles respectively. Hmm. Revelations. What would the motivation be? Contemporaneous court documents and company's Office of Jamaica correspondence will show that this was the time, 1986 to 87, when she was looking to cover up her fraud charges in the New York courts by assuming ownership of Tough Gong Records, LTD, or Limited, owned by Robert Marley, Peter Tush, and I, Honorable Bunny Whaler. Peter Touch and Bunny Whaler stood in the way of this as she was looking to be charged for fraudulent conversions in signing away Whaler's rights and Tough Gong trademarks and accepting funds in millions of dollars from Lord Christopher Blackwell. Lloyd Christopher Blackwell or Lord Christopher Blackwell, whichever one them call him. Was it again Rita who killed her own aunt, Miss Violet? Viola Anderson, stopping her aunt from giving her house to her nephew Vision, respectively. Who the hell is Rita? Could Rita be Jezebel reincarnated? This is directly from the, um, I'm reading directly from the letter that Bunny Whaler wrote recently. Continually charged and protected by Don Taylor on tour with Robert Marley as the eye trees, she was acknowledged as a known kleptomaniac. Was it Rita who again along with Blackwell smuggled a precious stone from South Africa for the thrill-seeking high of a kleptomaniac? Was it Rita again who robbed the African brother from Ghana of his family's legacy, causing him to commit suicide? Not content on robbing the whalers, she and Blackwell built a $20 million studio in Ghana, stealing the name Studio One to pass off selling the classic catalog of the whalers. This would have to have been burnt down to the ground as it had. Was it Rita again who killed the Japanese warrior at the Nyabingi Center, Scott's Pass? Clarendon because she was condemned by the Rastafari community for putting the red, gold, and green rug on the floor for her special guests to walk on. She would later bring bulldozers to intimidate the Rastafari elders there. Who the hell is Rita? I, Bunny Whaler, am going to make sure that Rita and her accomplice, Lord Christopher Blackwell, pay for their vicious crimes in the court of law, Sila. Now, this was me di reading directly from, directly from the letter that Bunny Whaler wrote. Today is the 25th of September, 2015. This was revealed three days ago, right? On the 22nd, or the 23rd, I believe. It was revealed on the 23rd, right? All right. Now, again, like I said before, this is what we're talking about. Bunny Whaler says that Rita Marley, alongside Chris Blackwell, conspired to and did murder Bob Marley. Bunny said Rita was, Rita was giving radioactive ash to give to Bob Marley by Blackwell even said that Peter Tush had a sexual relationship with Rita Marley before Bob did. Then she even tried to have a sexual relationship with Bunny, but he rejected. He paints here a picture of Rita Marley, not as the queen or Bob Marley's empress, but as Jezebel reincarnated as she is referred to right here in his letter that I am reading right now. 
people, this is strange. But one thing I can say, I'm on the fence with this one. I'm not jumping on the right side. I'm not jumping on the left side. I'm right in the middle. And I'm going to have to see how things play out. People are caught up in imagery. But I'm not caught up in imagery. See, I'm caught up in reality. And the truth is, Bunny Rayleigh don't really have no reason to just be saying these things just to say these things. No one knows still. I'm not saying what he's saying is truth. But somewhere in this thing, something is true. I'm not saying that Rita is wicked and all this other stuff. I'm just saying this is a revelation worth looking into. Because Bunny is a man of credibility that has stood the test of time as someone of credibility. I'm reading a lot of these blogs and I'm seeing this letter was inked by Bunny Whaler and was addressed to the government of Ghana. News. Snoop Lion roars at Bunny Whaler. You wasn't the shit in Whalers. Hm. Ah boy. I don't know. However, leave your thoughts, comments. I'm reading here that it says the letter was written last year. And all these other things. Leave your thoughts, comments. I'm going to discuss this one.